Just wanted to give a quick update here on the cemetery fence. Uh, I finally got the five done. I still need to paint them. Um, I use the barn uh, fence paint. It's what I use. I buy it at Walmart, the flat black. Usually a gallon. I can get about six fence. Seven if I stretch it thin, but I only got five here, so I should be good. But anyway, I got five built. That'll give me, I think, 12 total. I wanted... I had plans to do the cemetery gate. I wanted to get all of that done, but I just haven't had time for work. And, and then on top of that, it's I'm like everyone else. It's been super hot. Even with the air conditioner in my shed, it still gets pretty warm in here. But anyway, I got these five done. So like I said, that'd give me t 12 total. I like to, I'm gonna still get some, uh, the plan is to get, I like to get at least two corner columns done, do them out of foam and stuff. But, uh, that's the plan. I, I probably won't get to the gate because I want to work on a fog um, using uh, the Sonic Mister, like some of the other ones I've used. I'm gonna try. I've already got the head and everything for it. I just I just need to find me a good tote for it that will seal up really good. I don't really want to get into caulking it and all that stuff. Just trying to get a good seal. So I'm on a hunt for. Uh, for a good tote for that. I mean, I could use a cooler. I got another cooler that I use one year. I could always use that, I guess, if I had to, but I like to find something that seals really good, you know, comes at factory that way, so I don't have to do all that. But uh, anyway, I got five built here. And as, I don't know if you watched my videos before, but at the time when I was, PVC pipe, the half inch has really gotten expensive. It's up to like $5 almost five dollars for a 10 foot section so if i was to go you know ever other ring which these are four inch rings here i use the thicker inner walls i just think they give a little better look than the thin wall ones but anyway the four inch pipe it's really expensive now i think it's like 25 dollars for a, for a pipe of it and then like i said a half inch has gone up to like almost five dollars for a 10 foot section so if you was to go in here, you can go in individually and do a ring and then, then do a PVC pipe, you know, then a ring, PVC pipe. I think it would look better. I mean, probably at the end of the day, I wish I would have done that, but it's fine for what I want it for. You know, you do have the larger gaps at the bottom, but uh, I mean, it's fine. This was a cheaper way to go about it. And uh, some other people have asked me, I originally had these a little bit longer and then what I end up using is going to uh, Home Depot and bought the plastic like fence or that goes around your porch or whatever. That's what I use. It they're four by fours. And then what I do is I cut a four by four, drill a center out to run a rebar up in the middle of it. And then what I do is I stake that in the ground and I just slide the plastic sleeves over top of them, paint them flat black. That was way easier at the time. And I'll still buy some more and we'll do the same thing instead of me trying to build a bunch of corners and columns between each one of them that was to me i just felt like my time was worth more at the time than trying to do cemetery columns and stuff so anyway the plan is i like to at least get two of those built for the, the out by the road so i have at least give it a little more better look but uh that, that's pretty much about it but now what i was going to say was th these are uh four foot these are four foot and these are 44 inches. So these are 10, when I go to do these, these are 10 inches to here is 10 inches. From here to here to the top of the pipe is six inches. And then what I do, then after you're done, all I done was uh, put my rings in. These are cut at one inch. And then what I do is then just slide these up. And this, these, this bunch here I done, I actually clamped them tighter so that way uh, they they won't hardly move. But also I run a little one inch screw on the bottom here, I run it up through and it just barely pokes out if any and I'll go through and grind that little bit of screw that sticks out. But most of them don't screw, well, like here's one that really sticks out a little more than the others. But it's just a matter of how far you drive them in. But uh, that's all it is. And then what I done, I just made a cheap block for the bottom you can put four inches, six inches, whatever. Just take a two before, drill a center out, 
then all you have to do is then, then just take your two before, stick it up in there, then that way they're all across or the same, the same instead of going around trying to individually measure each one of them. But I did have to do the top that way. Is the like I said, is that is a ten inch, six inch. Then pretty much everything else, just you just push up, put it in place, and screw. Make sure that uh, you do drill your holes. Everyone, everything on this fence has to be drilled ahead of time. If not, these one by twos will bust out on you if you just try to use a drill, or I mean, just trying to screw them in. So make sure you pre-drill everything on these fences, or they'll end up busting on you. But that's where I'm at. Uh, next thing is I'm gonna try to start on that, like I said, that Sonic Mister. I'm gonna start on one of them, and uh, hopefully try to get two more columns done. And that should, I don't know, if I got time I'll do more. But like I said, it's been so hot I just ain't really been out here that much. So it's starting to feel like fall now. So hopefully I'll get out here and get some more stuff done. Hope you all have a good weekend.